So today I'm going to teach you how you can make super cool realistic and high detail background for your 2D game. And yes, you need zero skills, absolutely zero talent and without using any of your brain power if you have any. So the first thing is to draw a crazy sketch with hyper realistic details without breathing and put in absolute freaking human labor, just kidding. Instead, create an account on Midjourney and use their free trial period, but the channels that come with the freer version are pretty crowded. So spend your hard earned 10 bucks and buy a subscription for Midjourney to make your life a little easier. Or simply use another AI tool, certainly there are a lot of them out there. After damaging your pre-damaged wallet, you will have to open Midjourney and use ours if your subscription till you blast the server of Midjourney writing wrong prompts all day, but no, you won't do that because I'm here. Simply type in imagine my ex. I know you might type that but don't let your inner true self win instead I'll give you a real template. Imagine cartoon, your desired item or prop, game as a sheet, isolated on white background, dash dash no shadow. Now according to the environment if I wanted a big mushroom I would have typed imagine cartoon big mushroom, game art as a sheet, isolated on a white background, dash dash no shadow. This would have given me assets of mushroom which are on the white background and emitting no shadow on the background. Now in my case it would be imagine cartoon, old metal pipe, game or asset sheet, isolated on white background, dash dash no shadow. You will know why I'm using white background and no shadow, just trust me with this one. Now back to the background, I basically downloaded a whole pile of assets for the different stuff like platforms, building and you know other stuff. Now you might be thinking after downloading tons of assets it's finally time to make background right? No. First we have to upscale them and for that we are gonna use a very cool software name Upscale. You see exactly it's not Upscale, it's U-P-S-C-A-Y-L, not funny anyways. By this software you can upscale in bulk and it's free to use at least the time I'm making this video. Now to use this software you first have to click on the settings tab, click on the light and set it to dark because you are an absolute serial killer if you're using light mode for your team. Ignore all other settings like your crush ignores you, select the output image type to the JPEG and image scaling to the 4x. After settings out of the way, click on the upscale tab, turn on the batch selection, select the folder of the assets, select the algorithm to be remarky. To be honest, I have no idea what this is about, but this one looks pretty good to me, in fact all other are pretty good, so you can test out yourself as well here. After selecting the output folder, you can click on upscale button and hear your GPU making very weird noises. And while it's making weird noises, you can go ahead and like this video. Yeah, come on, it's still making weird noises and you can still like the video. After that, cut your assets from the magic wand tool. Now because I used isolated on white background and no shadow keyword, I managed to cut assets in no time. But few assets do need some tweaking which is obviously not of a big deal because technically I haven't made the assets. But those two keywords saves me a lot of time. Now you have two options. If you want to use them in your game, you can export from the photoshop and directly import them into your game. Or you can make a background in Photoshop and then import those layers into your game engine. Personally, I do make a background in Photoshop first so I can visualize the final product. Also by this I able to eliminate any sort of extra assets that I don't need. So I think this workflow really do make sense for me. But you know, you can do whatever fits you. Now into the Photoshop, I have a blank canvas and I have my assets. So I drag my assets into the blank canvas, which makes sense. After that, I basically rearrange a lot of the assets, add a cool background color and make layers of the background and use some basic alt rules. If you want to know more about the values and some cool tips, you can check out my other video and learn more about that. So I basically cut a lot of the pipes, adding them in layers. What that's gonna create a very cool depth effect in the background, in which we can later apply the parallax effect and you can do a lot of other stuff. Now after a decade of arranging a lot of stuff, I added some lighting and some particles and add some adjustment layers and finally applied a camera filter to make it more pop. After playing with Photoshop a few hours, here's the background that I came up with. Considering the amount of work I put in, I think it's totally worth it. And that's pretty much it from this video. Regarding the full process of this background, I will be updating that speed art video soon, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. See ya!